Coding Cowpokes, this is Prof G, and as they say in Rawhide, we're ready to get rolling, 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 because we're going to learn how to roll back an old Xcode commit in GitHub. We'll also learn how to delete a repo from GitHub and how to restore that repo from within Xcode. Let's ride! Giddy up! Now this example is going to use the same project that we created in the beginner's guide to Xcode Git and GitHub lesson. You can find that in our playlist at bit.ly slash prof-g-swiftui, all lowercase. Now if you're completely new to Xcode, Git, and GitHub, you'll want to go through that example first. If you follow the earlier examples, you should have a project that looks like this. We've done several commits, and we increase the number each time we performed a commit, and we change the color. And if you have your own project and you want to follow along, and you're comfortable with Git and GitHub and Xcode, the steps I'm about to perform should work fine as well. For sake of this tutorial, we're going to imagine that we want to roll all the way back to version 1.0, where we had just a 1 here, no rectangle, and the color was red. Now we're going to go through all of these steps, but if you want a handy step-by-step -step guide, you can always return here, pause at this slide, and see the steps we're about to perform. So to start, let's head to the Source Control Navigator, we'll click on the main branch, we'll find the version 1.0 commit, we'll right-click, select New Branch From, now this refers to the number at the far right here for this particular commit, but we're clicking on version 1.0 so this is the one we want. I'll create the new branch and call it temp, T-E-M-P, click create. And now let's make sure that our new temp branch is the version that we want. So we'll right click, we'll select switch to check out this new temp branch. I'll click switch. The temp branch should say current in parentheses next to it. Yours likely does. I'm using a beta version of Xcode that has a bug. But if I click on another navigator, then back to the source navigator, I can see that yes, the new temp branch is the current branch. Now one other quirk that you might encounter, sometimes if you download a project from GitHub and open it in Xcode, GitHub might tell you that there are files that are uncommitted even though you don't see an M next to any of your files. This is likely due to GitHub trying to commit an invisible finder file called ds underscore store. So if GitHub asks you to do something like stash and switch, go ahead and do that. We're going to ignore the stash. Stash is just a way of saving things locally before you've committed those files, but since we've committed all the important files, and we're going to revert back to the earlier temp branch anyway, you can create the stash and we'll just ignore it. Now if you want to verify that you're using the right commit for your temp branch, head to the project navigator and select content view, refresh the preview, and we see version 1.0 in red. Yep, this is what we want. So now let's head back to the source control navigator. Now at this point we've created a local temp branch on Git on our Mac, but we don't yet have a matching temp remote branch on GitHub. See down here? So all we need to do to create that remote branch for temp is to go to the source control menu, select push. Notice that Xcode says it will create in parens the temp branch. Click push. We see temp shows up under remotes, and if we right click on our project and say view on GitHub, we see the project has two branches, click two branches, and we see one of the branches is named temp. Nice. Now I'm going to delete the old main branch and eventually rename temp to main so that that's the new main branch. But I can't do that until I make the temp branch the default branch. I can't delete main while it's the default branch. To switch default branches, click on the left and right arrow icon, the page updates, and then you have to click the same left and right arrow icon on this page. You'll be prompted to pull down the branch you want to set as the default branch, so let's change from main to temp, click update, I understand, update the default branch, and now we see temp is the default branch. And now we can head back to GitHub exercises and click on the two branches link, and next to the main branch, now if I wanted to keep the main branch as a backup and I didn't want to completely get rid of the old code I'm about to replace, I could simply click on the pencil and rename main to something like backup before rollback, but I know I want to get rid of the main branch code, so I'll just click on the trash can. And surprisingly there's no warning here, but you can click on restore if you make a mistake, but I'm confident that I wanted to delete that. If we head back to GitHub exercises, we see we now have one branch, click that one branch, it's temp, click the pencil next to temp, Let's rename temp to main, then we can click GitHub exercises again. Git warns us temp is now main. Okay, got it. And if you want, you can head into GitHub exercises, look in the folder at the content view file, and we can see that yes, this is in fact the version 1.0 code in red that we wanted to roll back to. Nice, mission accomplished. Now let's clean up the rest of this in Xcode. Now the main branch that I still have in here has the code that I had before the rollback in temp. So I don't want this main branch anymore. I'm going to right click on it and select delete. And that goes away. But I want to rename my temp branch to main. So I'm going to right click on temp, select rename, change the name to main and rename this. And again, we see a quirk in my beta version of Xcode. I shouldn't still be showing a temp under branches. 
Hopefully yours doesn't show temp here, but if it does, you can just quit Xcode, then restart your project. And now I see that my only branch is my renamed main branch. And now I can also see that Xcode has two remote branches, main and temp. I shouldn't have a temp branch in here, so I'm gonna right click on temp under remote and select delete. I'll click on delete branch on remote repository, but I know it's not there. I already deleted it directly on GitHub in the browser. And again, quirk at Xcode, it's still showing up as the temp branch, but if I quit Xcode, restart it, now I see that I only have a remote branch named main. So now just to make sure that everything's working okay, let's create some changes, commit them and push them to the GitHub repo. So we'll head over to the project navigator, select content view, and we'll make some simple updates. I'm just gonna change the text to version 1.1 and the foreground color to mint. Nice. I see the M next to the file and the modification indicators. We need to commit these. So we'll head to the source control menu, select commit make sure that the content view file is checked. I'm gonna enter a comment, just version 1.1-mint. Then I'll click on push to remote, commit one file and push. The uncommitted changes indicators go away. And if I view the project on GitHub, go to GitHub exercises and click on content view, I can see that yes, version 1.1 in Mint did properly commit. Nice, Swifter, you learned how to restore a Git and GitHub repo from an earlier commit. Now let's cover one last thing to fill out your GitHub repertoire. Sometimes you wanna completely delete a GitHub repo. Here's how to do that. Head to the settings icon in the upper right, then scroll all the way to the bottom to the danger zone, cue the Kenny Loggins music, then click delete this repository. You'll be asked to type your username slash repo name to confirm. I'll go ahead and do this, click I understand. And now I'm returned to my list of repos, but I see it no longer contains the repo that I deleted. That's gone. But one more bonus, you can restore the GitHub repo from Xcode. So let's head over to the source control navigator. Now I still see that I have a main repo listed in Xcode, but it's not really there. If I try to right click on this under remotes and delete it, I get a message that says this repo couldn't be accessed. But if I right click on my project and select new GitHub exercise remote, then click on create, this creates a new GitHub repository for this project. And if I view it in GitHub, I can see it's now there. Nice work! Coding, cowgirls and cowboys, you corralled your code with Git and GitHub. Don't gallop off into the sunset yet. There's more big learning to come. Giddy up!